run yellow venture lisi straight keep on run no adventures every day run 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 time make a new mistake run hi guys bria here and i wanted to share some footage with you i'm on my way to the mazada anti-resort in el salvador now this is a luxury resort for tourists or anyone but it's out up in the mountains and on the coast it's absolutely gorgeous um, when you arrive at Mazata, that's the front desk you see there. I tried to record this footage early in the morning as to not disturb all the guests. A lot of them were still asleep, but this is how it looks when you arrive at the resort. They have this huge open area where people can congregate. They have a concession area. And as you go towards the back, there is a small pool. Um, there's an ocean view. You can see the cliff protruding off the side to the left. We have some seated areas here, super cute. Now, when you continue towards the back, obviously you'll get towards the beach, but we have a lot of area for people to sit and just hang out and watch that beautiful view under the gazebos. So I loved hanging out in this area and just relaxing, getting a swim in. Now, if you walk back towards the front and over to your left, this is gonna take you towards all of the bungalows and the rental units. So there's so much foliage. You feel like you're walking through a jungle. It's just absolutely beautiful. It just takes you completely somewhere else. And I just really enjoy just walking around the property, honestly, and just seeing all the plants and just looking at the designs of how they made these rental units and these bungalows you guys are gonna see up here really soon. So I hit a dead end there, but I think I got lost at some point. It's like a maze, but I found my way back over towards where my um, unit is located. So right here, that's my unit there. That's the side of it. That's my side window. It's so nice. I have a porch with a hammock on it. You'll see as I cut this corner, direct access to the beach. But yeah, this is where I stayed for my time at Mizata. Absolutely beautiful. And you see the bungalows over there. They look kind of like tree houses. Um, two girls who I spent some time with on the trip, they actually rented one of the bungalows. They said that it's like an outdoor shower. So it's super cool. If you come here, you have different options. Now, Nawi Beach House, right? This is where you go to hang out. This is also part of the resort. This is basically the bar area. Um, the area where they have like canopies so you can go hang out on the beach you can rent them you can also hang out in the infinity pool so i'm gonna take you guys into nawi beach house so you can see how that looks i'm coming from the back end from where my room was but there is another entrance where you saw that main sign here's that infinity pool and plenty of seating area um, for you to order food, order drinks, or just come and hang out and enjoy the weather. So I spent a lot of time over here as well. And the people are absolutely so nice. Um, one cool thing about um, Nawi Beach House and Mizata is that you can run a tab. So you're not constantly paying for every drink you have. Um, they just run it to your room, which is really convenient. Here you can see the little, I forget what to call those things. I just call them canopies, but like where people sit on the beach and you see these huge rocks on the beach. I feel like those rocks help to stop the water from rushing up because it is a surf town. Definitely a surf town, but me, you see what I'm doing. I just kept it simple. I know my limits and I did my little doggy paddle around the pool, but I definitely had a great time. I did go over to the beach and kind of stand near the water, but I didn't really feel like surfing or anything. So this was me most of the time. Just enjoying myself in the pool really enjoying that personal time just that alone time honestly it's different it hits different when you're at a resort for sure and then at night we had a full moon it was so beautiful and they were so nice to do a campfire for us everyone was hanging out everyone was so sweet we were doing s'mores it's just i've never been somewhere where the people were so nice and accommodating and humble i absolutely love it here in el salvador hi guys bria here and i wanted to give you all a quick tour of my luxury rental at the mezata resort
So as you enter the room, you can clearly see a huge king size bed. I love the backdrop, um, the wall with the wood panels. It's just so pretty and it changes up this room because it's a lot of white in here. Um, it's a very minimalistic approach. It has very high ceilings as you guys can see. Back towards the front door, there's a window leading outside to all that beautiful foliage that we saw. This is where I've been keeping my shoes and they also provide you with some complimentary yoga mats to utilize outside with that beautiful ocean view. When you enter the room to your left, you're gonna see your kitchenette area. Here, they have a mini fridge. They also provide with some filtered water for you to drink. And then in the mini fridge, they give you a bunch of goodies Keep in mind, you need to pay for these. <laughs> Back over to the living room area. Ginormous L-shaped couch. Triangle table to go in between. Awesome AC unit to keep you cool in this hot, humid weather. And then of course, this is a surf town. This is a surf country, honestly. So there's a nice big artwork, some surfers. To the left, you have the bathroom, but before that, you have a giant closet. In this closet, you can fit a ton of stuff. I got some clothes in there now, just on this one side, but it also opens up again if you close the bathroom door. Got even more space, huge closet space. So last but not least, we have the bathroom, which is ginormous. Look at this shower, y'all. It's an open shower lined with rocks, which I love that on my feet when I'm showering. And of course, it's an above head spout. So it comes right down on top of your head when you're showering, which is great. You need to wash your hair and everything from being in the beach. But our toilet area over here, a nice little notice that they put is to only flush natural waste. I think this is something that we should do in America as well. People should throw their toilet papers in bins and just flush the number one and number two. <coughs> Excuse me. Here is your get ready area. I love how they have the mirrors on both sides and really good lighting over here, y'all. You know, and then that's pretty much it. I got my sink. I got a bunch of storage drawers, which I don't really need. But yeah, I've pretty much been backpacking this whole trip. I showed up with two backpacks, so I could have came with like a whole suitcase and everything, but I really wanted to just be like more free and explore and not be worried about my stuff all the time. But I really do enjoy this rental. I've never stayed at a resort this nice. But yeah, this is my simple room. And it was actually an upgrade because I told them I was coming by myself. I didn't need the biggest room. And they were like, we're gonna give you a room that's facing the beach regardless if you have somebody with you or not. And I was like, those are the type of people I wanna spend my money with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick Airbnb tour. But yeah, I'll give you guys some more info about the other places that I stay and you can make an, a, an opinion about when you travel if you want to go luxury, budget, or somewhat moderate. So I'm getting ready to leave the resort and I'm really gonna miss these views.